to begin cleaning your spices if you have a lot of them as i'm about to do i will recommend you need a nose mask because there's going to be a lot of sneezing you want to protect your nose and protect your ingredients as well so once the nose mask is on another thing you need is gloves because in case you are touching your your face <laughs> or something this these spices are really strong and they can they can really burn you okay so what you are seeing now is cloves i've cleaned that nicely cloves in our Ghanaian local language is also known as pepper and then the next ingredient or the next spice i'm cleaning is calabash nutmeg calabash nutmeg is very delicate it needs a lot of cleaning and um, if you leave calabash nutmeg on the shelf for days by the time you realize the insects will attack it and turn this whole thing into powder for you okay so it is very important that we clean it for the process and um, that we are going through the next one is um, negro pepper also known as ethiopia pepper or huintia in the akan local language i have a number of videos introducing spices talking about the uh, local languages because people have asked for it okay so i'll go ahead and clean that as well now um, i've not really introduced this video very well um, i'm making some spices for a friend i made the spices she was traveling and she needed spices that would last her for over a year so she asked me to help her with that and that is what i'm doing so since i was cleaning it i decided to share the whole process um with you so this thing that i'm doing now is this is alligator pepper also known as a form wisa. now i'm doing all this cleaning because she wants the spices to last her for over a year if i don't clean and take out all this stuff from the spices there's a possibility that it's not going to last because um there, there may be existing weevils and other insects and stuff within the spices yes they have they have stuff within them and i'm using the tissue to clean it okay so um it can take away any dirt at all and as you can see i'm using my colander for some of them i use the bigger colander for others i use the one with the small holes it really depends on the sizes of the spice so this particular one that the um stuff in them was more so i had to transfer it into a plate and then make sure i take out stones and then clear everything now this is rosemary it has no tr no known tree name rosemary is rosemary and for I have a lot of people asking me about the three names of the spices it will interest you that when you go to the market and you mention the english names the the vendors they know okay so you just don't worry yourself so much about that now this is black pepper black pepper has a replica known as um i think a uh, yeah like I, I may be wrong <laughs> yeah but black pepper has has a no i may not be wrong it has a look alike and it's called a show visa okay but this is the black pepper and as you can see there were components there were power like all those things in it and the reason why you need to clear them is because they may be they they are they are there or that that powder that is <laughs> that you see um um by this black pepper they were they were brought out by insects okay and so you need to clear them i i don't want to see anything if i didn't blend them or i didn't um, transform them into that powder form before i'll use it i'll take out any powder so it could be the components of the black pepper but i still will go ahead and clean this nicely and um, so basically that is what i'm doing just so that the shelf life of the spices are able to go um for as long as 
I want them to. So this video is going to be in three parts. The first part I'm sharing with you how I clean the spices. The second part I'll be showing you how I combine those spices to make many beautiful and different spices and then the third one i'll come talking about the packaging the pricing and all of that by pricing um, i'll be sharing with you the cost of the production okay i have a number of people who have been asking me about you know the spices and whenever i share the combination of them i'm i'm still giving it a thought if i get help okay if i get help i'll try and put it together but for now um, I'm putting it out there for anyone who wants to consider this as a business. So as you can see, these are all stuff that I took out of the spices. It includes that. It includes their own components. And as you can see, some moving insects as well. So what happens is that if you have just one or two insects within the spices and you keep them on your shelf, as time goes on, they can just increase and they can mess up the whole thing. So that is how come I'm, I'm taking um, due diligence as i said if i've not said that already this is supposed to last my friend for um a year okay so i need to make sure that it is well cleaned now that was fennel seeds and i just want to introduce you to some of the spices i have some garlic powder some onions i have a recipe on how you can make your ginger and turmeric powder very easy now there are some of the spices that i didn't highlight when i was cleaning because i didn't want the video to be too long as it stands is already long okay but these are some of the spices and we'll be getting to know more about them as we continue the next part process now after cleaning the next process is um, roasting roasting your ingredients roasting your spices that is also very important if you want this to last long because you may not be able to clear all those insects and stuff from the cleaning but then when you roast it the fire is going to burn all of them and kill all of them so originally calabash nutmeg has a shell and um, they take it out of the shell before selling mostly so at uh, this one i just found one that you know escaped them <laughs> and so i'm just taking the shell out and then i'll just continue roasting in it calabash nutmeg is one ingredient that if you don't roast it and you keep it on your shelf after some weeks or so they will turn into powder for you and so if you don't roast them very well that's how they are going to affect other spices once you combine them so usually when i'm doing a small batch i'll say oh roast under low heat for some few minutes but for this particular one it's a lot so the heat is under medium and i didn't roast not less than five minutes because <laughs> again i want this to last and also once you roast these um, spices they become very dry they're already dry but roasting them ensures that they are they are really really dry okay so that they're able to last long it also makes them smell cold you can see it activates the oils within them when you roast it so yeah it does it does um, a lot of good to your spices when you do that so after every every roast i just clean my work and then i continue now coriander is also one spice that if you are working with it you really really have to roast it because i saw some insects that were coming out of them they are able to create holes in them and they're able to hide within them so you need to roast them well and you also need to observe once you are doing the cleaning can you observe pay attention to the ones that you can see insects and stuff coming out of them and spend a lot of time working on those ones okay so basically that is it um if you've not done that already can you give this video a big thumbs up mm -hmm. it's a way of supporting my channel and subscribe to if you have not done that please thank you very much and i feel like this video can be helpful to people especially people who want to start some business i know things are really tough so do share share with a friend share with a family like have you seen this what do you think about it <laughs> okay so yes this is my 
my black pepper and as you can see like if you observed from the beginning that is if you watch from the beginning that one had a lot of you know um, its components being extracted by insects and everything so i made sure that i roasted it very very well and then the next one is the negro pepper there is a um, a spice that i didn't introduce while i was doing the cleaning and that is star anise star anise it's a very powerful spice it is very fragrant and a little of that goes a long way as a matter of fact a little of all the spices i'm sharing they go a long way and sometimes i have questions that can you do with these spices without a seasoning cube absolutely yes depending on the food that you are doing honestly like it, 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 I've, I've i've tried it based on the questions i've been asked on that and they are i'll be sharing some dishes that i made with just this local spices without um you know seasoning cube and how i worked around them sometimes you know when you add the spices all you need to do is a little shrimp powder so the shrimp itself a little of that powder or some herring powder that is all you need to give it a taste and if you are in ghana africa we have certain aromatics that we use natural <laughs> <laughs> that they may not really be, be smelling pleasant and um, you take like um you are preparing consumer stew and you add momoni to it momoni is tank fish you wouldn't need um a seasoning cube honestly it will do the job for you so that together with some of these local spices you are you are good to go so in case you don't want seasoning cube yeah you, you really can do with it is is how you cook your food how you fry your onions like it's really how you combine the ingredients so if you have those skills like see you are good to go <laughs> so yes um I'm, i've introduced most of these ingredients already so at this point it's like a mini vlog you know i'm just roasting all of them everything there were certain herbs that i got as well I, I have a recipe on this channel how you can buy your fresh herbs and dry them in your oven usually when you dry them in the sun they they, they, they don't become crispy enough okay but then you can keep them in your oven for some few minutes and you have them dry but this um, recipe i had a lot to do within a short period of time so i got um you know my help so um, i don't know what i've passed so far but then um i have some basil in here i have some oregano i have some um some parsley some dried parsley and for all of them i am roasting them now this ingredient i also didn't introduce in my um, cleaning video it is cardamom cardamom i've seen it popular in some indian cuisine some pakistan pakistan <laughs> cuisines and i have some recipes i'm super excited to share with you i've made some indian dishes and i can't wait to share those those videos with you okay yes uh, my travel with me vlogs they are all coming up so basically beautiful people so what you are seeing now here it is the basil seeds that i was talking about and then you are going to see the the oregano yeah and then you are going to see the parsley as well so um that is it this video is going to be in three parts i i think i've mentioned that already if i have not <laughs> but then the final thing i'll be i'll be roasting will be my bay leaves as well so please stay tuned watch the next video as i combine as i make different spices with these ones that i've shared with you and then the final one how i packaged it for my friend and everything do check it out thank you so so much for watching if you watched up to this point i really appreciate you kindly like don't forget to do that kindly subscribe don't forget to do that and please share 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 so a lot of people will be introduced to this wonderful local way of you know 
Ajá, ajá, bye bye. <ríe>